Algebra Equations Exam Preparation Questions Part 1 You will find this from page 1 to 3 in the Namibia Mathematics Textbook Y equals MX plus C to Success Part 1 The Great 10 11 Now let's first look at the summary from the textbook of the different equations. You can find linear equations where there's just one unknown. Okay, just want to highlight one unknown. Then you can find two unknowns when there's an x and a y in the same equation. Then you need to have two equations. And then we will also look at quadratic equations, which we can solve by factorization, completing the square, or the quadratic formula, or the graphical method, which we'll, we will first do in the chapter 6 on graphs. Okay, but let's look at a simple example. And this example is coming from grade 8, 9. Okay, but let's just refresh your memory. So if I look at these examples, and this is the type of questions that they can ask you in the exams. So solve the following equations. Now, this is a fraction. So if you look at this one, let's just get, this is a fraction. So just make this also a fraction by putting it over one. Then cross multiply. Then you get this. So if you have one term over one term, you can cross multiply. So basically, then I divide negative 3, divide, and I get the value of x is negative 5. And I can test it, actually, by saying 15 divided by negative 5 will be negative 3. Okay, then the next one. 4, 5 minus 3x. So first multiply out the bracket. So I multiply 20, I multiply negative 12x, and then I take the 20 over. So 23 um, subtract 20 will only be 3. And I divide by negative 12, divide by negative 12, and I simplify and I get negative a quarter. Okay, now this one is a bit more challenging because now I don't have just one term, I have two terms. So what do I do? I first make everything fractions. Then I find the lowest common multiple. Now in this case, if everything is a fraction, it's only going to be 5. So I multiply with the lowest common multiple, all the terms. So if multiply there, now if I multiply there, it will cancel out and there. And then it's best to say 5 times 3, then you get that 15. And there's the bracket and there, and this is 30. And now you multiply, multiply, and you get this. And if you multiply, you say 15 plus x, take this 60 over, it becomes a positive 16. Then take this negative, negative 2, and I just simplify and I get x is 5.5. So don't let the fractions um, confuse you. Just get rid of the fraction by multiplying, getting the, the LCM and multiply the terms with the LCM, all the terms. Okay. Again, what do I want you to do? I want you to stop the video and I want you, I'm just going to make bigger, um, I want you to first do number one and again you can do it like this, do A, check the video, do B, check the video, do C and then number two and as soon as you are finished you can continue the video. Okay, I'm going to just make it a bit smaller so that I can start. Okay, and I'm starting with number one. So solve the following equation. So let's just first write it out now. As I said, this is coming from grade eight and nine. So it's not, this is very, very simple. But they sometimes ask it so simple in the grade um, 11 examination as a very basic level. Okay, so just take all your like terms. So I do it like I showed a grade eight or will show a grade eight student. I will say, take this. So in order for this positive 7, you subtract 7. So if it's going over, the sign change negative 7. So it's 3 in order to cancel plus 17, plus 17. So on this side, plus 17. And then it's going to be negative 2x. And this is going to be 17 plus 3. So that is going to be 20. And then I divide by negative 2 and I divide by negative, And I get that the value of x will be negative 10 and you can test it if you substitute negative 10 and I'm just going to test the first one 
Okay, so let's check it. We're going to substitute that negative in. So it's going to be 5 times negative 10 uh, minus 17. And if you do it there on top, 7 times negative 10 plus 3. And that's going to be negative 50 minus 17. And this is going to be negative 70 plus 3. And this is going to be negative 67 and 70. Um, this is going to be negative 70 plus 3. And that's also going to be neg negative 67. So can you see the two sides are equal? Okay, as I said, we're not going to do it with all. Okay, so let's just go to number B. I just showed you what we, you got. So number B is a fraction, but don't, don't be afraid, especially in equations. You're, you're just trying to get rid of the fractions because it's an equation by doing the same thing on both sides. Okay, but this one is lovely. Why is it lovely? Because it's one term equals one term. So I'm going to cross multiply. So if I cross multiply, just get my blue back, um, it's always put brackets. Cross multiply, it's 14, 3 minus x, and 15, 2x plus 5. Okay, so if I'm, I'm starting with that, this 14, I'm going to multiply it with 3, so I'm getting 42 minus 14x, and this one I get 30x plus 75. Okay, and I'm taking it over now, because I'm having it on this side, if I take that, ah, you can take it to the other side, it's just usually we take it to this side. So it's 75 minus 42. So just be careful, it's a negative, so it's going to be negative 44. And this one is going to be 33. And then I'm going to divide, so I divide by negative 44. And I divide by negative 44. And I'm getting that the value of x, if I simplify, 11 can divide into that. So 3 times 4 times, so it's negative 3 quarters. And that's my answer. And that's how I do number B. Okay, and then I will just quickly make space and I'm going to do number C. The final one in question 1. Okay, so let's just do quickly number C. Okay, so number C... This is now, remember, it's not always an x, it can be any variable. So it's going to be 3a over 16 minus 1 equals a half. Now, what you can do in this case, now I'm going to do, you can take the 1 over and then you can cross multiply and you have one term over one term. But because I want to, I'm going to do other method. I'm just going to make the denominators the same. Okay. So, but just remember, you could have taken the 1 over, make it 1 term over 1 term and cross multiply. I think that would have been an easier method. But just because I want you to test working with the LCM. So what is my LCM? That's going to be 16. Okay, so I'm just going to write it out here. And as I said, I want to emphasize just this method. So I'm going to multiply with 16 over 1, multiply 16 over 1, multiply 16 over 1. Okay, so basically this is nice. The 16s will cancel. Do you see that? So I'm just going to um, get just 3a. There I'm going to get a 16. And there I can cancel it out. So 2 can go in 1, 2 can go in 8. So I just get an 8. So I have 3a equals 8 plus 16. So 3a is equal to 24. I divide 3, I divide 3, and the value of a is equal to 8. I'm going to quickly do it for you on the other method, which I think would have been easier. Okay, 
So if you go and you do it on the other method, then I'm just going to say, okay, this is now still number C. So it's 3A over 16 minus 1 is equal to a half. So it's 3A over 16, and that's going to be a half plus 1. So make it 2 over 2 or 1. Okay, so 3 over 16, it's going to be 3 over 2. And what I said, now I have one term equals one term. So you can cross multiply. So 3a times 2 is 6a. And again, that 16 times 3, that is going to be 48. So I divide 6, I divide 6, both sides. And then I will get the value of a is 8. Can you see? Exactly the same. Okay, doesn't matter on what method you do it. Okay, so let's do the final one the final one in this video. Okay, and that will be number two. Now, this is just statements, so don't let it confuse, it's actually score marks. So complete these statements. When W, okay, so when W equals, okay, what? So then they put here, and I'm just putting it, they say 10W equals 70. So just solve this. Divide it by 10, divide it by 10, and the value of W will be what? 7. So I'm just going to complete the statement by saying when W is equal to 7, then this statement will be correct. Okay, so first just complete the statement. The same with B. So if I look at B, now this they do the other way around. So now they say 5x equals 15. Then they say, what will 12x be? Let's make it another color again. 12x. So first get x. So first, the one that you have fully. Okay, so divide 5, divide 5, and you get that the value of x is going to be 3. So basically, you're just going to say 12 times 3, and that is going to be 36. So completing the statement, you are going to write here 36. And what did you write here? You wrote 7. Okay, so that is not very difficult. Okay, I'm going to make this video a bit, bit shorter. So I'm ending this video, and I, I just always, and I'm going to end it very fast with you. I'm just going to say um, documents, and I'm just ending always with showing you the different where you can buy the books, all the different bookshops. And then I'm also showing you now, especially this time of the year, I'm in July, okay? I always want to end by showing the teachers. This is more for the teachers, this, this one. And as I said, this is more for the teachers. Remember, all the Y equals MX plus C textbooks are on the NEET catalog and can be ordered for your school. So make sure that you order the books. Here I highlight all of them. So that next year you have full stock and you can start the year on a high note. Okay, so there I highlight all the books.